Talofalava, Fakalofalayatu, and kia ora everyone. Kao Vaso again from Rowandale School. Today I'm here just to talk to you a little bit about how we can better build positive interactions in our homes. But I'd like to recap on something that I spoke to you guys about last time I was on air, and that was Talanoa. And we've talked about the last time being that Talanoa was something where you interacted with each other. It was a form of communication. It was a way in which you shared between two or three or four people, something that made you safe, something that made you feel good. And so today, I'm going to try and incorporate Talanoa into the discussion that I have uh, prepared for you right now. So, positive learning interactions. Now, it's really important during lockdown that these things happen. But you might be sitting there thinking, what are they? Well, if you're going to have positive learning interactions with your children, it needs to encompass and incorporate the things that we talked about in relation to Talanoa. So it needs to be personalized to your child. It needs to be driven from them. If you want to build this positive learning interaction with your child, it needs to come from them. It's so easy sometimes as adults and as parents and even as teachers to take over the conversation and to lead it the way we want it to go. But if a child feels like you're actually incorporating or valuing what they're saying, then it will be a really positive experience for them and you'll get some really good talanoa and some really good interaction. It needs to be warm, respectful, honest, loving and funny. So you need to look at all of those different kinds of feelings and values and incorporate it into that interaction because then it becomes real. The child will remember it. The parent will remember it. The adult or the tuakana tena will remember that interaction and then it will be valued. You'll actually believe it. It'll go straight to the heart. You need to be engaged in what your child is talking about. So you need to look interested. You need to look straight at them. You need to put your phone down. You need to stop doing what you're doing. Oh, so you want to tell, oh, oh, you know, all of those kind of sounds, interactions, voices need to be important and incorporated in that talanoa and into that um, positive learning interaction. You need to be calm. Sometimes we've heard our children say things to us and, oh my gosh, I can feel the temperature going. Why are you thinking that? But you need to be calm. This is their dreams. This is their thoughts. This is their knowledge that they're sharing with you, that they've got courage to share. So it's important for us to put, put on the back burner our own thoughts and views, but stay calm, stay relaxed. Oh, okay. And ask those questions that delve rather than destroy or stop. It's important that we allow them to continue, to ask those probing questions. Why is that? So, oh, okay. Have you ever thought, yeah, okay. But try not to um, incorporate what we think or try and, and impose what we believe into their thoughts. You know, unless they ask. It's always important that we wait for them to ask as well. And it's a two-way thing. So when you're interacting you, they've got to interact. You've got to respond in a way that, in, that encourages them to keep interacting with you. So that positive interaction in your home is vital because that's how we hear our children's dreams. That's how we share with them our expectations as well, but alongside these dreams. And you're going to have a happier, happier home at, uh, during this lockdown period as well. What does this look like, feel like, and sound like? So when you're interacting and you've got these positive learning interactions at home, it doesn't have to be between you and your child sitting there face to face. They can use multiple media platforms, Zoom, Facebook, Messenger, making videos, YouTube, phone, texting. There's so many ways in which we can uh, encourage and allow for them to share these thoughts and, and, and build this positive interaction. Of course, sometimes parents, we, we don't have all the answers. So it's important for you to go, okay, I don't know, or go, don't try and pretend because your kids know when you're faking it. So what you need to do is say, okay, maybe we need to do some research. Son, I'm not sure on the answer. I'll get back to you. I'll ask someone else. Put them on to experts. Put them on to other family members as well because it's important to, to also uh, you know, promote other people's knowledge because your child will just grow and grow and you'll look like a hero too because you've actually helped them to build some really interesting knowledge. We need to make sure that, you know, when you're doing this learning connection, that maybe these skills, you can look to encouraging them to take it back, 
take it back to their own school, take it back to their own context after lockdown, because these things will be valuable for them in the future. So the final point is, are we there yet? How do we know that it's been valuable? How do we know that you've made this connection? It is vital that your child sees this as a two-way street that you are connecting with them and they are connecting with you, that it is an investment on your behalf, you are totally interacting, you are listening as well, trying to build that knowledge uh, of where they want to go in their life and what they're trying to talk about. And so this interaction needs to be real. Um, you need to ask these questions constantly. If they're going to ask questions after this and then you recap and you come back to it, it's been successful. Because if they come again and ask you something else, you're like, wow, they must have liked that last interaction that we've had. So it'll show then, um, and the proof will be in that pudding. The proof will be in there where they're, they're coming back, they're wanting to engage with you. They're wanting to call their grandparents. They want you to call their uncle. They're wanting to, to, to research some things a little bit more. That's how you will know it's been worthwhile and useful. And if you see it as something where you're learning from them as much as they are learning from you, then it will be real talanoa. It will be real interaction. It will be worth it. And like I said earlier on in the talk, it will be something that will go straight to the heart, straight to the minds. They'll believe it. They'll think it. They'll think, my goodness me, my mom, my auntie, my brother really believes in me. They're just listening to me. Sometimes you don't need to actually say anything. If there's no response needed, by all means, just park it up. I'll think about that, son. But one of the most important things during this lockdown is to make sure that we do have these building of these relationships between each other, between the home, nurturing these, because it's a great opportunity for you to sit down, listen to your child, they listen to you, and, you know, solve some problems solve some futuristic kind of solutions for their life and for whatever's happening. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for engaging with me today. Positive learning interactions. Hope you've learned a little bit from me or, or, or understood. And remember, any of this stuff is based on and, and the formation and underneath this is this positive talanoa. Talanoa that needs to incorporate love, needs to incorporate warmth, needs to incorporate respect. And of course, above all, it needs to incorporate some humour. So if it's not funny, maybe you need to stop. Nō reira tēnā koutou ngā mihi nui kia koutou. Uh, Whakaoe lahi, whafutai tēle lava.